Government presented its joint work plan for the next four years to the United Nations system. We have more details in the following report by our correspondent, Andre Vieira. The main demands of the South American country was that the United Nations help lift the blockade, the sanctions, and put an end to unilateral aggressions against Venezuela. The representative of this international system acknowledged the impact of the attacks on the society. I refer to one of the reports produced in the framework of the work of the Human Rights Commission, and it is clear that coercive sanctions affect, for example within the United Nations space, the possibility and capacity to access humanitarian aid and have a clear impact on social conditions. During the meeting, the Venezuelan ministers presented the planning for joint work in areas such as health, housing, indigenous peoples, education, science and technology. The government of Venezuela emphasized that the United Nations must act to guarantee the distribution of food to all countries, a situation exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's analyze what this means. For example, some speculated with the vaccine issue. Some decided who had the right to vaccines and who hadn't. And now the same is happening with food. That's exactly the role that the United Nations must play, to claim that all countries within the system have exactly the same rights, and coercive forces of one nation over another can simply not be accepted. Venezuela accumulates losses of more than $120 billion due to external attacks against the country. There are more than 430 unilateral coercive measures affecting all sectors of the country faced with this scenario. The government and its people are resisting and creating mechanisms to advance the country's development.